Summary of Science Materials for Grade 9 Middle School Semester 2 Chapter 8 Particles in Matter and Living Things What do you know about molecules? What are molecules made of? What do you mean by atom? What are the particles that make up an atom? How did the atomic theory develop? Do you know the answer yet? If you don't know, let's look at the summary of the following material. A. Molecules in inanimate and living things. In nature, there are processes of formation of substances such as photosynthesis and processes of decomposition of substances such as leaf decay. Matter in nature is composed of very small matter called atoms. Photosynthesis takes place in organelles called chloroplasts. Chloroplasts consist of chlorophyll molecules which have the following structure. Chlorophyll is a compound composed of several atoms, including carbon, C, hydrogen, H, oxygen, O, nitrogen, N, and magnesium, Mg. Glucose has the constituent atoms of hydrogen, oxygen, and carbon. The atoms making up glucose are the same as in carbon dioxide, Colorado 2, and water, H2O. Through chemical reactions, substances react to form new substances that have different chemical and physical properties from the original, for example the formation of glucose. Glucose formed as a result of photosynthesis has a different substance from the original substance, namely carbon dioxide and water. Glucose is a solid and tastes sweet. Carbon dioxide is a gas and tasteless, water is a liquid and tasteless. Molecules that make up substances consist of two or more atoms that can be bonded through chemical processes and are called chemical bonds. In Colorado II there is one C atom that binds two O atoms and there are two chemical bonds between C and O atoms. In H2O, one O atom binds two H atoms and there are two chemical bonds that bind H and O atoms. Chemistry on CO2 The formation of glucose in photosynthesis, the decomposition of waste. The carbon dioxide gas cycle and the nitrogen cycle are examples of chemical processes that occur in nature and can maintain the balance of nature. Some of the chemicals needed by living things are provided by nature, some are made by humans through chemical processes in industry. Artificial fertilizers such as urea contain nitrogen in the form of ammonium ions. NPK fertilizers contain nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium which are used by farmers to fertilize plants. Here's the nitrogen cycle naturally. The body of living things is also composed of billions of atoms. Atoms bond together to form compounds to form a certain shape. For example, our hair is composed of molecules containing carbon, C, hydrogen, H, nitrogen, N, sulfur, S, and our bones contain calcium, Ca, phosphorus, P, and oxygen, O. Inanimate objects such as plastic, water, air, soil, clothing, and other inanimate objects are chemical substances composed of certain molecules. In compounds, the molecules give certain properties. For example, plastic is flexible because the molecules have long chains. Charcoal is easily broken because the arrangement between the constituent atoms there is an empty space. The different properties of a material are caused by differences in the arrangement of the molecules in it. 
For example, wood is made of pencil and starch on potato tubers or cassava tubers or taro and rice, which can be consumed to produce energy. Starch is composed of long chain molecules. Long chains are composed of simple units called glucose. Glucose molecules are linked by oxygen by glycosidic bonds. The following are the differences in the structure of starch compounds in potatoes and cellulose in pencils as shown below. A. Amylum in potatoes. B. Cellulose in pencil. Starch and cellulose have the same constituent molecules, namely glucose, but the bonds between molecules are different. Cellulose is a hard substance. If consumed by humans it cannot be digested by the body. Starch can be digested and used as an energy source. This shows that the pattern of arrangement and the type of bond between the molecules that make up the material causes the substance or material to have different chemical and physical properties. Each compound has a molecular formula that shows the type of constituent atoms and their ratios. Water, H2O, is composed of 1O atom and 2H atoms. When 2O atoms bind 2H atoms, hydrogen peroxide is formed, H2O2. This shows the comparison of the number and types of atoms in a molecule to produce compounds of different properties and types. Here are the differences in the molecular structure of H2O with H2O2 in the picture. B. Atoms and their constituent particles. Atom is the smallest unit of a matter. Atoms consist of sub-atoms namely electrons, neutrons and protons. Neutrons and protons make up the atomic nucleus, nucleus. Electrons occupy atomic shells around the nucleus. The electrons surround the nucleus at high speed forming clouds. Electrons have a negative charge, protons have a positive charge and neutrons have no charge. The following is the structure of the helium atom, P, as shown in the following figure. In a neutral atom, the number of protons and electrons is the same. Each subatomic particle has mass. Electrons have a very small mass compared to protons and neutrons. So the atomic mass is centered on the atomic nucleus only. Scientists have put forward theories about atoms. One theory will collapse or be rejected when new data or facts are discovered about atoms. Giving birth to a new atomic theory. This is the development of atomic theory. The following is the inventor of the atomic theory and atomic model. John Dalton said that the atom is a solid sphere and is the smallest indivisible part. Each element consists of identical atoms. Atoms of different elements have different atoms. Atoms can combine in certain proportions to form compounds. Joseph John Thompson said that the atom is a positively charged sphere and in certain places there are negatively charged electrons like raisins in bread. Ernest Rutherford said that the atom is a sphere in which there is an atomic nucleus which is the center of positive charge and center of mass. While the electrons revolve around the nucleus. Niels Bohr said that the atom consists of a nucleus which is the center of mass of the atom and the center of positive charge. While electrons move around the nucleus in certain paths or orbits called atomic shells. As long as electrons surround the nucleus, they do not emit energy. Modern, Wave Mechanics Atoms are composed of subatomic particles, namely neutrons, N, protons, P, and electrons, E. Neutrons and protons become one to form a dense nucleus called the nucleus or atomic nucleus. The electrons move around the nucleus at almost the speed of light to form an electron cloud. According to Bohr, atoms have atomic shells in which electrons surround the nucleus. 
The atomic shells closest to the nucleus or innermost have low energy, while those far from the nucleus or outermost have high energy. Electrons that are in the innermost shell, can move to the outermost shell if they absorb energy from outside the atom. The energy comes from the heat of combustion or from electricity that passes through the atom. Electrons located in the outermost shell will get a weak attraction from the nucleus. Thus, electrons in the outermost shell easily escape from the atomic shell and atoms can lose electrons. If the number of electrons and protons in an atom is different, the atom will be charged or form ions. The process of ion formation is called ionization. An electron microscope is an instrument that can be used to view very small objects, such as viruses and cell organelles with a magnification of 1000 to 1 million times. The maximum magnification of a light microscope is 1000 times. In electron microscopy, a beam of electrons is used instead of light. The magnification ability of electrons is caused by the short wavelength of electrons which is 100,000 times smaller than visible light. The image produced by an electron microscope is colorless or black and white. Even though the resulting image is black and white, it can be artificially colored to emphasize a particular section in detail. In an electron microscope, a glass lens is not used. But an electromagnetic lens is used to focus the electron beam on the object being observed. The following is an image of a light and electron microscope. A. Light microscope, 160 times. B. Electron microscope, 425 times. Another application of electron microscopy is X-rays or X-rays. X-rays are used to diagnose or analyze disease, usually to see fractures of bones and lungs. X-rays were discovered by Willem C. Röntgen in 1895. Willem C. Röntgen found that when electrons that have high energy hit a material such as glass, it will emit radiation, energy that is flowed in the form of electromagnetic waves or subatomic particles, and can penetrate objects that cannot be penetrated by ordinary light. These radiations are called X-rays. X-rays are electromagnetic radiation that has a short wavelength, m, and is produced from excited electrons in atoms which then jump from the outer atomic shell to the inner atomic shell. X-rays have also shown that X-rays can make film plates produce images of objects that are not see-through. Currently, X-rays are very important to diagnose a disease. X-rays can also be used to analyze the molecular structure of a compound in the form of a crystal. This technique is known as crystallography. The following is an example of a disease diagnosis using X-rays. A. A broken bone. B. Condition of bone after splicing. Atomic number and mass number. Atoms of different elements have different numbers of subparticles. Atoms in a given element have the same number of protons in their nucleus. The mass number of an atom is determined by the number of neutrons, protons and electrons. However, because the mass of the electron is very small, it can be neglected. 
Each atom has a different atomic number and mass number. This is because the number of electrons, protons and neutrons is different. If the atomic mass is different, then the atomic radius is different. The relationship between atomic number, mass number and number of neutrons in a neutral or uncharged atom can be written with the following equation. When writing the element symbol, the atomic number is written in a subscript, down, to the left of the element symbol. The mass number is written in superscript, ascending, to the left of the element symbol as follows. For example, the element lithium has an atomic number of 3 and a mass number of 7. So the symbol for the element is written as follows. Precious metal elements such as gold, AU, silver, AG, and platinum, PT, have high economic value because they can be used as jewelry. Elements that exist in nature are very important for life. However, some elements such as mercury, HG, lead, PB, and other heavy metals are harmful to organisms, especially humans. If the heavy metal cannot be broken down and is difficult to remove, because in the body there is no mechanism to remove the element. Each time, these elements can be added or called bioaccumulation and will last throughout human life. In addition, it can cause cancer and even death. In pregnant women, it can cause miscarriage and birth defects in the baby. Elements that are beneficial to humans for example iodine or iiodine is a component of the thyroxine hormone produced by the thyroid gland. Thyroid hormone has a function. Increasing the metabolic rate to produce energy. Regulates the growth and development of the nervous system and skeletal system. Maintain blood pressure. Consuming 0.15 mg of iodine every day is sufficient to meet the needs of the thyroid gland. Iodine deficiency causes swelling of the thyroid gland or goiter. Prevention efforts are by adding iodized salt in food. Example pictures of some elements. Uh, mercury, Hg, B, Lithium, Li, I, C, Bromine, Bridge 2, D, Chlorine, Cl2. An example of bioaccumulation is Minamata disease. This disease was identified in 1956 in Minamata Bay, Japan. In this bay there are fish ports, fertilizer factories and other chemical compounds which in the process use mercury Hg. When the mercury leaks, it enters the ocean and then contaminates fish and other organisms in the sea. If humans eat these fish, it will be contaminated with mercury and accumulate in their bodies. Mercury bioaccumulation causes cancer, mental retardation, birth defects, blindness, deafness and even death. This incident made the world's attention to better protect and protect the environment from pollution, especially heavy metals. Minamata Bay was finally determined to be mercury-free in July 1997 or 41 years later and local residents could fish and swim in the sea. C. The principle of molecule formation. Electron configuration is the arrangement of electrons in an atom, molecule or other physical structure. According to the theory of wave mechanics, 
The energy levels are atomic shells are energy levels K or N equals 1, L for N equals 2, M for N equals 3 and so on. Each atomic shell is occupied by several atoms and has a maximum number of electrons. For example, the K shell has a maximum of 2 electrons. If the atom has more than two electrons, the next electron will occupy a higher shell. The filling of electrons in atomic shells starts from filling the innermost shell or the one with the lowest energy. The following is the name of the atomic shell and the maximum number of electrons. First energy level, the name of the atomic shell K, the maximum number of electrons that can occupy it equals 2. The second energy level, the name of the atomic shell L, the maximum number of electrons that can occupy it equals 8. The third energy level, the name of the atomic shell is M, the maximum number of electrons that can occupy it equals 18. The fourth energy level. The name of the atomic shell is N. The maximum number of electrons that can occupy it equals 32. The following is the arrangement of atomic shells and their energy levels in the following figure. The way to determine the maximum number of electrons in each atomic shell is to use the following formula, where Emax equals maximum electron, N equals shell layer. For example, platinum, Pt, has the atomic number 78. What is its electron configuration? Electron configuration of platinum, 2, 8, 18 and so on. In the fourth shell, the maximum number of electrons is 2 times 4 to the power of 2 equals 2 times 16 equals 32. So, the electron configuration of platinum equals 2, 8, 18, 32, 18. Atoms with atomic numbers 1 to 18 will be stable if their outer shell contains 2 electrons such as helium, P, or 8 electrons such as neon, Ne, argon, Ar, and krypton, Kr. To reach the number of electrons 8, the atom will lose or receive electrons. For example, the sodium atom has an atomic number of 11, so its electron configurations are 2, 8, 1. Since it has one outer electron, sodium loses one electron to make it stable. Thus, sodium becomes a sodium ion that has one positive charge because it loses one electron and can be written as Na+. Plus. Ion is an atom or molecule that has a positive or negative charge. If it has a positive charge it is called a cation, if it has a negative charge it is called an anion. For example, chlorine has an atomic number of 17, so its electron configurations are 2, 8, 7. Because the outermost electron is 7, Chlorine gains one electron to make it stable. Thus, chlorine becomes a negatively charged chlorine ion or can be written Cl to the minus power, because it captures one electron and is referred to as an anion. Ionic compounds are compounds formed from cations and anions. In ionic compounds, there is an attractive force, electrostatic force, between cations and anions called ionic bonds. For example, the process of forming table salt, as shown in the following figure. The sodium atom loses one electron to become a Na plus cation. The chlorine atom gains, gains one electron from sodium to become a Cl minus anion. The cations and anions of sodium and chlorine combine to form the salt sodium chloride, sodium chloride. 
and the structure becomes like the following image. In sodium chloride, the cations and anions are arranged alternately so that the attraction between sodium and chlorine is maximal. Such an arrangement is called a crystal. Metal elements tend to lose electrons so that they are positively charged or form cations, non-metal elements tend to accept electrons so that they are negatively charged or form anions. The tendency of an atom to accept or lose electrons can be determined from the number of electrons in its outermost state. If the number of outer electrons is more than 5 it tends to accept electrons. If it is less than 4 it tends to lose electrons. Refreshment or isotonic drinks contain several types of ions such as potassium, K+, calcium, Ca2+, magnesium, Mg2+. Chloride, Cl-, and atomic groups such as carbonate ions, count E2-, and hydrogen carbonate ions, HCO3-. These ions are already present in our bodies, but due to strenuous activities, these ions will be lost. So, if the body loses ions, it can drink isotonic drinks to replace the lost body ions. Atoms can share electrons. For example, the hydrogen atom, H, has one atom. So it will be stable if it accepts electrons or bonds to each other with H atoms to form H2. Here's a picture of the use of hydrogen electrons simultaneously. A chemical bond through the sharing of electrons between two atoms is called a covalent bond. Bonds between H atoms with H atoms or Cl with Cl are usually written with the symbol H strip H or Cl strip Cl. One dash represents one shared electron. The elements oxygen and nitrogen in nature exist as O2 and N2. To be more stable, the O atom has two electrons so that its outer shell is filled with eight electrons. In order to fulfill this condition, O atoms share electrons with fellow O atoms. While the N atom requires three electrons to be more stable, so it uses electrons simultaneously with fellow N atoms. Covalent bonds in O atoms can be written with O strips O, covalent bonds in N atoms are written with N strips N compounds with covalent bonds between atoms are called with covalent compounds. Here's the structure of sharing electrons in oxygen and nitrogen. Ions are important in the human body. Ions are very important in the human body. For example, calcium ions, Ca+, in the human circulatory system. Calcium ions can help clot blood when there is an injury, transport oxygen gas, O2, and carbon dioxide, CO2, in the body. Carbon dioxide in body tissues is channeled to the lungs in three ways. 1. Carbon dioxide is soluble in blood plasma and blood cells. 2. Bound with hemoglobin to form HbCO2. 3. As the bicarbonate ion, HCOO3. In red blood cells there is an enzyme carbonic anhydrase that can accelerate the formation of HCO3 ions from CO2 and H2O molecules. In the formation of HCO3 ions, hydrogen ions H plus are produced which will bind to hemoglobin, Hb. HCO3 ions leave the red blood cells to the blood plasma by diffusion through a special slit. This process occurs because the concentration of ions in red blood cells is higher than the concentration in blood plasma. During the diffusion process, chloride ions enter the red blood to maintain the balance of ions in the blood due to the release of ions. 
The reaction that occurs in the circulatory system is the opposite of the reaction in respiration, namely CO2 diffuses out of the red blood cells to exit the lungs. Following are the mechanisms of oxygen and carbon dioxide transport. Ions can also be used to kill viruses and bacteria. Air conditioner OR Plasma Cluster AC is an air conditioner that can produce ions such as H plus and O2 ions. Based on research by Japanese scientists, these ions can kill Escherichia coli, Micrococcus pyogenes and influenza viruses. The mechanism of killing bacteria and viruses is through the reaction of 2O2 ions and 2H plus ions which produce hydrogen peroxide compounds, H2O2, on the outer layer of bacterial cells or on the surface of the virus body. Hydrogen peroxide has a high potential energy that can damage bacterial cell walls and viral protein envelopes, so that bacteria and viruses can die. Characteristics of objects in daily life A material composed of the same atoms but a different structure or arrangement then the material has different characteristics or properties such as diamond, graphite, plastic, steel, iron, galvalum, bronze and brass. Diamond is a gemstone and is a beautiful crystal, usually used as jewelry. Graphite is an allotropic form of carbon, usually used as a material for making pencils. Diamond and graphite are composed of carbon atoms. In diamond, each carbon atom binds four carbon atoms with covalent bonds forming a tetrahedral structure or a four-plane structure. This structure makes diamond strong, hard and has a melting point of up to 3550 degrees Celsius. In graphite, C atoms bond with three C atoms to form a hexagonal layer or six plane structure. The graphite layers are held together by weak van der Waals forces, making them brittle. The structure of graphite causes electrons to move easily. So graphite is good for conducting electricity and for battery electrodes. The following is the structure of diamond and graphite in a pencil, on the packaging of mineral water or drinks and food. Under the bottle or food box there is a plastic logo. The logo is the code for the plastic used to make bottles and food boxes. Understanding the logo can make it easier to choose the right plastic for your needs and the type of plastic that can be recycled. Recycle, recycle, is different from reuse and redis. Redis is reducing goods that result in the accumulation of garbage. Reuse is the reuse of garbage that can be used for the same function or another function. Recycle is reprocessing waste into useful new goods or products. Here's the plastic logo. Code 1 or PETE or PET or polyethylene terephthalate. This plastic is designed for one-time use. If used repeatedly can increase the risk of consumption of plastic materials and bacteria in the plastic. Because, the type of PETE is difficult to clean and can be toxic. The type of PETE should be recycled or recycle not reuse. PETE is usually used in bottles of mineral water or other beverages and some food containers. Code 2 or HDPE or high density polyethylene. This plastic is only for one time use and is easier to recycle than PETE. HDPE is white, usually used to make bottles, milk, detergent, shampoo, oil toys and some plastic bags.
HDPE is hard, not easily damaged by the influence of the sun, heat or cold temperatures. Code 3 or PVC or polyvinyl chloride. PVC plastics are very difficult to recycle, soft and flexible, should not be reused as food wrappers. Usually PVC is used for children's toys such as swimming buoys, water pipes and computer cable components. Code 4 or LDPE or low density polyethylene has a low level of toxicity compared to other plastics, can be reused or reuse. LDPE are usually used as clothes wrappers, bags and laundry services, fruit wrappers to keep them fresh, food containers and lubricant bottles. LDPE can be recycled to make floor tiles. Code 5 or PP are polypropylene. PP is strong, lightweight and heat resistant. PP is able to keep the material from moisture, oil or other chemical compounds. PP is usually used as a wrapper for cereal products, as a bucket, margarine and yogurt boxes, straw, rope, solotip and plastic paint cans. PP is very safe to reuse or reuse and can be recycled. Code 6 or PS or polystyrene or styrofoam, plastic that is cheap, light and easy to shape. PS is widely used in snack food packaging, is easily damaged and brittle. So it can be cut into small pieces and pollute the environment. Styling compounds in PS can be released and if consumed can trigger cancer in the reproductive organs. So, if possible we should avoid using PS for food wrap. Code 7 or other plastic materials, BPA, polycarbonate and lexin, usually used to make accessories. Raw materials for beverage bottles and food wrappers. Code 7 should be avoided as drink bottles and food wrappers. Especially BPA or bisphenol A because they can interfere with the work of the body's hormones. Steel or black iron is used as the main component in the frames of cars, machines, ships, trains, tools. Weapons and building frames. Steel is a metal alloy or alloy of iron as the main ingredient, carbon, C, manganese, Mn, sulfur, S, phosphorus, P, silicon, C, oxygen, O, nitrogen, N, and aluminum, Al. Steel quality improvement is done by adding nickel, Ni, chromium, Cr, molybdenum, Mo, boron, Bo, titanium, T, vanadium, V, and niobium, Nb. The function of carbon in steel is to harden and increase its tensile strength so as to prevent shifting of the atoms in the steel. To prevent corrosion, steel is added with CR at least 11% of the total material. CR will form a hard layer on the steel surface and is known as stainless steel or stainless steel. Usually stainless steel is widely used as a material for making kitchen utensils and fences. Mild steel, galvalume, is a thin steel coated with aluminum, Al, 55%, zinc, Zn, 43%, and silicon, Si, 1.6%. Galvalume is usually used for roof trusses because it is anti-rust. Environmentally friendly and strong. Bronze is a metal alloy containing copper, Ku, as the main component, tin, Sn, manganese, Mn, aluminum, Al, phosphorus, P, or silicon, C. 
Most bronzes contain 88% copper and 12% tin. Bronze has a melting point of 950 degrees Celsius. Bronze is stronger than copper and is widely used in industry, resistant to corrosion due to seawater. So it is widely used in shipbuilding and shipbuilding materials, as an inscription maker, gong and gamelan musical instruments, as well as for metals. Brass is an alloy of copper, ku, and zinc, zn. Brass is widely used as decoration, household utensils, musical instruments such as trumpets and drums. Brass can kill Staphylococcus aureus, Escherichia coli and Pseudomonas aeruginosa bacteria. The mechanism of brass kills bacteria, namely, destroying bacterial cell membranes so that bacteria die, disrupting the balance of ions in bacteria, disrupting osmotic pressure and forming hydrogen peroxide compounds in bacteria. Bone is composed of living parts, namely osteocytes and non-living parts. In perfect bone, the osteocyte level is only 5%. Non-living components consist of organic and inorganic substances. Organic substances consist of collagen, protein polysaccharides and glycoaminoglycans, mucopolysaccharides, 50%. Inorganic substances consist of calcium phosphate Ca3, PO4, 2 and bicarbonate ions, HCO3, to form a hydroxyapatite compound, Ca10, PO4, 6, OH2. These compounds function as hardeners, stiffeners and bone reinforcement. Bones can be pulled with a load of 1400 and are able to withstand 1400 to 2100 kg per square CENTITER. This strength is equal to the strength of aluminum. The substances that make up teeth are the same as those that make up bones. The teeth contain the proteins amelogenin and enamelin. A compound containing magnesium, Mg, sodium, Na, and fluorine, F. The fluoride ion in the teeth serves as a protective tooth from damage caused by acids, accelerate the mineralization or addition of calcium, Ca, and phosphorus, P, to the tooth surface. So, Toothpaste always contains fluoride because it can help prevent tooth decay. The following is the structure of bones and teeth. Watch the following images. A. Bone. B. Teeth. 